Here's a GRE quantitative comparison question. Let's take a look. We're told that n is an integer and n squared is less than 39. So we want to know it's greater. Quantity a, the greatest possible value of n minus the least possible value of n, or the number 12. Well, let's think about what the greatest possible value of n is, right? And we can do this really just kind of by plugging in numbers. Uh, we want a number, an integer, that when you square it is less than 39. There aren't that many, there aren't that many integers, right? You can start plugging in numbers. 3 squared, 9, 4 squared, 16, 5 squared, 25, 6 squared, 36, but 7, eh, right? 7 squared is not less than 39. So at a maximum, n can equal 6, right? That's the greatest possible value of n. Well, what's the least possible value of n? You might say, well, it has to be 0, right? Because if I go all the way down, 0 squared is less than 39. Uh, but if you do that, you're ignoring all of the negatives. Because remember, a negative number squared becomes positive. So negative 1 squared is positive 1, negative 2 squared, positive 4, etc., etc., etc. And this is really just a mere image of what we just did. We know that the lowest possible value of n, the smallest possible value of n, is uh, negative 6. Because if we go any lower than that to negative 7, we run into the same problem. Okay, so here's my greatest value, greatest possible value. Here's my least possible value. 6 minus negative 6, I want the difference, or uh, minus, right? 6 minus negative 6 is, would you look at that, positive 12. So these two quantities are equal. For more GRE tips and tricks or to sign up for my live online course, follow the link on my profile.